This method can help answer key questions in the neurobiology field, such as how individual voltage-gated ion channels contribute to the functions of a specific neuron. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows the functional ion channels to be mapped at the subcellular level in neurons. Begin this procedure by placing the brain on a 9cm petri dish with the bottom covered with a layer of Silgard. Next, surround the brain with ice-cold sucrose ACSF. To prepare coronal slices, make two cuts to remove the cerebellum and the rostral part of the brain. Then, apply cyanoacrylate glue on the specimen tray and glue the brain block to the tray such that the rostral part faces the slicing stage. Subsequently, apply a few drops of sucrose ACSF on the brain and slowly submerge the tray into the cutting chamber. Afterward, adjust the razor blade at an angle of 15 degrees with reference to the horizontal plane. Cut coronal brain slices of about 500 micrometers in the caudal nasal direction before reaching the substantia nigra. Then, adjust the thickness to cut 300 micrometer slices containing the region of interest. Separate the slices from the tissue block with a very thin perfusion needle attached to a syringe parallel to the edge of the razor blade.